I need to find my microphone because I talk too softly. Um, wait, is it why? How's this working? There we go. There we go. I got it. Now I can see your comments. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are we all doing today? Um, I'm not going to be here too long because guess who woke up sick again? I literally want to cry, so I just might. I catch everything, whether it's like the tiniest, except for COVID, I've never catched, I've never caught COVID before, I think I'm immune to it. But I catch everything, any little bug at all. And so today I woke up, it's like huge headache and barfing and um, like stuffy and sore throat and fever and achy and all the things. So um, I was just gonna not go live, but then I was like, oh, I'll just log in for a minute and at least talk to them for a minute. So that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna go back to bed. Um, like I just got over a cold like, what, a week ago? A week and a half ago? Um, so, oh no, you can't barf, I know. I know it's bad. Um, it's your birthday, happy bir happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mo. I wish you knew you a little bit better so I could know what to sing to you, but I'll just say that you're lovely and you're wonderful and you're beautiful and you're great and you're worth it and you're all the things. I hope you have the best day ever because you deserve it. And thank you for supporting me and thank you for being the community and I love you forever and ever. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it's the best I can do today. Ugh. Um, this time I have not taken a COVID test, but I will. But I know I'm positive I'm immune from it because I never got the vaccination, any of them. Um, my whole family got it last Christmas and I was around them. Danny got it, I was around him, other friends, family members. Every time I've been around someone, with, I never get it. And with my immune system, like where I literally catch everything, um, you would think I would catch, I really, really, really believe that I'm immune to it. I'm not kidding. Isn't that crazy? You're welcome, though. That's the best I could do. So, <laughs> happy birthday. How old are you turning? Or how old are you today? Anyway, thank you, Charlotte. Everyone like, like, like. Thank you. That's so cute of you. Anyway, so I'm going to be here for like maybe 10 minutes, so tell, ask me a question if you want. Um, I'm trying to think of what I could talk about. Because um, like right now my head is really foggy because it's just like stuffy and achy and sicky. Um, I haven't had it either. Someone I know has had it, not me. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, I really think I'm immune. I really, really do. Um, however, Danny's, um, half of the cast and crew that he's working with right now do have COVID. Danny doesn't have it, but he could have brought it home to me. So I will take another test, but I know I don't, I just know. So I have a lovely voice, even though I'm not feeling well. You know what the word lovely means? This sounds lovely to you. Thanks. Appreciate that. I look great. Okay, any questions? Uh, thank you, Jenny, I appreciate that. I feel you, I know, Shona, I even thought of you today when I woke up, I was like, <gasps> at least it's not as bad as Shauna, I think. No, mine's not nearly as bad as yours, cause like, I can at least be her sitting, talking to you. I feel like Shauna is like on death's door, just ready to, internally combust and just die. No offense, you'll be fine, Shauna. I promise, you'll be great. Anyway, uh, when will you be giving your next eating disorder update? Uh, don't think I'm the only concerned. Um, soon? I don't know, I guess I haven't thought about it lately because it hasn't been active lately. Let me think. Um, 
That's not true. It was active once. I'll give you an update soon. I'll give you an update soon. Have you ever had blood transfusions for your anemia? Yes, I have. I wasn't sure if you would be able to yes, but I was just curious because I had to go through exactly that. Why wouldn't I advise LDS? Do people think we can't get blood because we're LDS? Wait, what's that? What? What's that about? Anyway, yes, I have. I've gotten both blood transfusions and iron transfusions and they are fun. But they're helpful, so I'm grateful when I can get one. Um... Oh no, you're positive for COVID. I'm sorry, Dana. Some religions don't allow it. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. In, I, I wonder why. I'm very curious to know. That's so interesting. I want to know why. Does anyone know why? People get Mormon and Jehovah's Witness mixed up. That's true. That is very true. So is this a Je Jehovah's Witness thing then? Oh no. Oh, Shauna. Maybe I have a sinus infection because I can't tell you how many times I went to the dentist in so much teeth pain. And they're like, we think you just have a sinus infection and that can super duper affect your teeth pain enough. Hi Jess, thank you. I won't be here long either, don't worry, it's okay. I'll do a longer one tomorrow, hopefully. If I'm feeling better. No, 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 don't go away, don't go away. Oh, I lost it. Oh, that's the worst. No. Come on. I need to look at something bright. Dang it, it went away. That's the worst. Especially when you're sick, you know how you like want to sneeze because it brings up everything and it like makes you feel good for a second. I would love a good sneeze right now. Um, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Positivity. Hello, I just wanted to come in and say that you were looking lovely. Um, thank you. Have a lovely rest of the day and night to you all. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, you're just dying. No big deal, Shauna. I'm sick too. I'll be praying for all of us to heal. I'll be praying for all of us too. I'm sorry, Angel. I had an LDS friend who was against it, against getting blood transfusions? Huh. I assumed it was her religion as some don't allow, but perhaps it was a personal choice. Yeah, it must have been. I believe some religions don't allow because they view it as playing God. Oh, interesting. Hmm. This doesn't mean trying to knock other religions, but doesn't God give us so much extra blood that we can donate? No, I don't know how that works. But yeah, maybe it was just a personal decision for them. Hmm. Yeah, I've never heard that in my church before, but I could be wrong, I don't know. But I don't think I am. Oh, I know, oh, come on. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up again. Sorry, triggering. I've been throwing up all day. <laughs> I don't think there's much left in me, so. <coughs> Just lost my mom at age 68 to anorexia. And it's a lonely place to be. Makes my own eating disorder issues harder to manage. I'm so sorry, so, so sorry for your loss. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's what I remember, Sam. When I was Mormon, they always explained that God gave the doctors the ability to save you. It's not taking power away from God, it's God's hand through it. Yeah, that, that's, you worded it how I couldn't, so good job. Um, oh, bless you, Jenny. I, I went in with a mystery illness and ended up in hospital for a week, having units of blood. Um, I had no idea I was critically anemic. Oh my gosh, that's kind of what happened to me. I didn't know it was that bad for me, and then they like put me in the ICU because it was so low. That's really scary. I'm glad you're okay, and I'm so glad you went in, honestly. It's okay, Deb. Did you get any sleep last night? <sighs> Am I going to barf again? Hold on. Oh, at least I'm getting it now and not right before Thanksgiving because I get to see my entire family this year. Every other year we switch and we go to Danny's parents one year and then my parents the other. This year it's my family and every single sibling, every single niece and nephew of mine is coming and I'm so excited. So Thanksgiving and then Saturday we're doing family pictures. So it's not COVID, no, but I'm just sick again and it's very frustrating because I just got over a cold. So I catch everything. Um, not much. She had the dog out at 10 p.m. for 30 minutes. I called the cops. They did nothing. What is going on with her? She needs, she needs to just knock it off. Do you want me to email her? Yeah, I don't think it's COVID. I talked all about how I'm pretty sure I'm immune to it. You can go back and watch later if you want. Cool. Thanks. Free Bert girls chat. What does that mean? Sex crying dot X, Y, Z. Thanks. Wait, are they trying to put me in porn? Wait, what's happening? Oh, good. Sam deleted it. Wait, what was that? Was that a real thing or was that like a computer? Was that like an automatic thing? Because it looked like it was. It looked like one of those like Oh, click here, because like I'll get comments all the time of like, oh, click here for sexy dentures or sexy hair or sexy whatever. And I'm like, are people making porn out of me? Not that I'm judging that, but that's not my thing. I'm not, I don't want to be in a porno. It was a bot sending a bad link. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay. And I bet you those comments are too. I could be wrong. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, I am so attractive today. <laughs> oh no. Thanks guys. Um, okay, any other questions before I go? I mean, I suppose I could give an eating disorder update right now. Um, I was doing really well for many days, and then yesterday I had a slip up. That's it. Take zinc. Okay, what is zinc, and where do I get it? Is that a vitamin? I need to be taking vitamins. Stop, Deb. You're beautiful. I thank you. I couldn't be unattractive if I tried. Are you looking at the screen, child? Do you see this face right now? <coughs> no, I wasn't coughing yet, and now I'm like coughing a ton. No, oh, coughs are the worst. That's the most annoying part. Good thing I have cough drops right here. <sighs> 
Anyway, um, so I did have a mess up yesterday. Um, I don't I don't remember <laughs> before that, but I know that I went a few days without any behaviors. So. Got some things on my mind lately about recovery and stuff, but I don't think I'm ready to talk about it yet, but I will soon, very soon. Um, yes, my dentures just came out when I coughed. It happens a lot. Uh, Mr. Zafra, I got the original strain and I had a cold for over a month, nasty fever in the middle, lost two whole days of work without pay <gasps> at a BTW job. I was in Santa Clara just before lockdown. It was rough. What's a BTW job? By the way, I have many siblings. I have five siblings, no, seven and a half, no, five, okay, I have three full blood siblings, I have five, I have two step siblings, no, I have four step siblings, no, I have five step siblings, and then I have one half brother, and then I have, okay, so, Hold on, Angela, Michelle, Mike, they're my blood. Ammon is half my blood. Liz, Julie, um, and then all of their spouses. I don't know if you count that. And then Danny's family, we've got Eric, Aaron, Ann, Denny, Maggie, and then all of their spouses too. So I have a lot of siblings. Thanks, Sam. By the way, those watching later, Sam just said, that's okay. Only tell us what you're comfy telling us. Boundaries are good. <coughs> yes, Danny comes from, he's the oldest of six kids. And only two of them actually are married. Yeah, so... Yeah, only two of his siblings are not married. And then I have, I think we counted yesterday, I have like, what, 33 nieces and nephews just on my side of the family. And then on Danny's side, 33, 34, 35, 36, 42. So I have 42 total, I think. That's insane. That's crazy. Bethany, hello, can I just say I love you? I love that you are so open about your eating disorder. I could never, thank you. Someone's gotta do it. I just remember feeling so alone and wishing that somebody out there, not, not that I would want others to go through this, but if they were going through it to speak up so that I wouldn't feel so alone. And it just was like, one day I was like, why don't I speak up? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, the third one went away. Dang it. Oh, it was there. Thank you. Oh, that was a wet one. You can't tell from there. That was very wet. Wow. I've never looked more attractive. So, get all your screenshots now, kids. This isn't gonna last. I'm never gonna be this gorgeous again. So, you're welcome. 
Anyway. <sighs> um. <clears throat> Thank you. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a very wet sneeze. I'm glad you couldn't feel that. I even sneeze pretty. I hate my sneeze. It's annoying. Every time when I used to go to church and I had to sneeze during the service, I can't tell you how hard it was for me to not at the end because I just do that naturally. And so I would like have to physically, like, mind, body, and soul just think about do not do that. That's so loud and embarrassing. And so I would just have to be like, Achoo! and just like, because like my sneezes are so intense. And so I would like have to slow it down and be quieter and be like, Achoo! like a whisper sneeze. But there were a couple times where I sneezed fully with it at the end and got lots of good looks for that. So yours are louder than mine. Nice. I sneeze daintily. Yours are obnoxious and loud. Mine is obnoxious and loud. What are you talking about? Uh, Bela, are you planning to give more educational speeches like the one you gave at a high school stage? Yes, I want to. Um, it's up, kind of up to Ashley from, it's her organization that she did. Um, if I get invited to speak with her again, except this time I would like to focus more on them than me. Like last time I feel like I the, the thing was mostly about me and my story and I would rather, now thinking about it, I would rather like just quickly tell my story and then spend the rest of the time relating it to them and how it could help them and what, what they can do if they're being bullied or stuff like that. So I hope Ashley asks me to speak again. Um, and who knows, maybe someday I'll do my own thing where I travel around and talk to high school students or something. I don't know. Hmm. I really hope so. I think that would be amazing. Um. Because I've only gotten to do speaking in front of like, I think I only did it like five times. Is that right? And now, you know how after you like try something, you're like, oh, I should have done this and I should have done that. And like you want to do it again so that you can correct it and try it a different way. That's how I'm feeling. I'm like, oh, I wish I could do it again so I could correct it. Mm focus more on them than me. <laughs> Why? Man, I'm so not excited for Thanksgiving this year. Why? Is it triggering for you? Are you alone? Why? I'm very proud of you, Shauna, for since my grandma passed, we haven't done anything for the holidays. Why? You guys should do it in her honor. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you. Yeah. What are TED Talks? I mean, I know what they are, but like, can anyone do them? I don't know how it works. I know what they are, but I don't know how it works. Maybe I'll look into it because it would be so cool to travel around and meet you guys. It'd be so cool if I could travel all around the States. I'd have to be a little healthier than this though, but um, that would be cool to travel around and then meet a bunch of you. <coughs> 2020 Christmas didn't happen for me because my grandma died like a few weeks before. Holidays can be really hard after death. That is true. Maybe try getting at least some family together for a meal. Yeah. Just offer to do it yourself. Just be like, I'm cooking, come over. And if you don't want to cook, just like order something or something. I don't know. 
I am sick, Sage. Again. Hence the title, You've Got to Be Kidding Me. So. And I said I wasn't going to be here long, and I'm here much longer than I thought I would be. So if anyone has any more questions, now's the time. Um... Come to England. I would love to come to England. I'd love to. They do they do community-based TED Talks called TEDx where you can submit your speech and get selected to give it on the event date. What? Huh. Where do do you have a link that you could send to me for that that I can look into? Because that would be really cool. Yeah, if I prep my speech opportunities will come. Yeah. If I could like get it down to where I want it to be and then submit it, that would be amazing. I need to find my microphone. You know what? Maybe I'll just order one before I forget. I need to find my microphone because a bunch of people can't watch my lives because it's too quiet because I talk quiet and they can't turn it up at all. And live streams also just make you quieter. So I need to find, I used to do this. I used to have a microphone that hooked up to my iPad so you could hear me better. So I need to get one. Maybe I'll do it before I forget. Hold on, let's order one right now. Okay, what's it called? I iPad, um, microphone maybe? <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, they have wireless ones. Um, I think this is the one I get. Oh, never mind. Um, it won't come till Wednesday, and Wednesday is my last live day, so sorry. Next time I do live streams, I'll order one in the future. Anyway, okay. Yeah. All right, any more questions? If not, I'm going to go. But I can totally take one more if you'd like. I need to order some lunch. Oh, I'm just like scared to eat. Maybe I'll just make some mashed potatoes or something e easy. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, holidays can certainly be hard when you have lost loved ones. My father in law passed January 21. Oh my gosh. And my husband hasn't been the same since. Oh, is that why their flags are black? Because they're mourning the queen? Huh. <clears throat> I don't have vapor up. Dang it. How did you and Danny meet? We met through my high school boyfriend. His name is Jameson. And Jameson grew up with Danny. And Danny went on a two year mission for a church. And I was dating. Jameson when Danny came home from his mission and Jameson was invited to Danny's mission homecoming thing at church 
And so I went with him and that's where I met him. And I met his family that very first day. I like met him like 30 minutes after I met him, I met them. No, wait a minute. I met him before the, before the homecoming. Okay. I did go to the homecoming later, but yeah, the first time I met him was actually in his uncle's store that he was working in at the mall. And Jameson just took me in to meet him there. And it was really cute. And then I liked him so much, like as a friend that I hooked him up with my stepsister because she had a missionary that she was waiting for. Um, but in the meantime, I'm like, eh, I'm gonna have some fun. So they kind of hooked up and then they broke up and I broke up with Jameson and then I got together with Danny's roommate and then he cheated on me and then I got together with Danny eventually. Really great story. Um, maybe sit in a hot warm shower. Yeah, maybe I will. I did finally get a shower chair so I could just sit in there and let it run on me. Yeah. Okay, I feel really sick. I'm going to go. I'm sorry this is so short, you guys. But I will be back tomorrow and hopefully feeling better. Hopefully this is another 24-hour bug. I get those a lot. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm going to go take a poll on Instagram if you guys want me to go live on Instagram instead of YouTube one of these days in the next week so that I can bring you guys on and like actually meet you and talk to you. I think that would be amazing. So go vote on the poll what you would rather me do. And yeah, so, okay. You too, Shauna, you feel better too. Everybody feel better if you're feeling sick. I'm sorry for all of your losses and the hard things that you're going through and I wish I could hug each and every one of you and I wish that I could just make your pain go away. And I really wish that I could be in a temporary coma for like a couple months or something. And then I just wish that we could all come and go and be like, oh, that sucks. And then you're like, well, then how do we fix it? And then you're like, you don't, you just have it there for, yeah. Okay, I love you guys. You're beautiful. You're worth it. And I'm too. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.